Welcome back everybody and today we are looking at a food bag that I keep for hiking, camping and my bug out bag. We'll start out with the bag. I think this is something like 16 inches across by 19 inches tall. The bottom is a 5 by 7 rectangle and this is an example of the food that I would keep inside of such a bag is that I go for a minimum of three days eating good, five days eating sparsely or spartan. For my stove, I have a Alpine Stowaway 775 milliliter pot. Open that up. And inside of there I have some tissue that I use as buffering or buffer material for the stove. That just kind of kind of hard to do with one hand. Folds open like that, and then threads on top of the mixed fuel, butane and propane. And inside of there, I also have a lighter, just to light the stove with. Next, on the first day of meal, this would be like an example of a first day meal. And I want to throw a special thank you out to Prepared.pro for the meals that these are Mountain House seven-year meals. This comes in a kit. These meals came in a just-in-case kit. It's seven days worth of dehydrated freeze-dried meals. It's seven days worth of food for one person. It comes with like scrambled eggs, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And so I disassembled the pack and then put some of these into my bug out bag food bag. So this would be like breakfast, lunch, dinner, or just the opposite. Next day would be something like a breakfast bar. I need to add a couple of more breakfast items. I've got some fruit snacks over here and another breakfast bar, but I, I probably need to add a couple of pop, just like pop tarts for the carbs, sugars. I've got spaghetti and meat sauce, a kind of like an MRE. This is like an ever safe meal, chicken and dumplings, and it's been opened, a couple of things taken out of it. And this is pork rib, boneless imitation, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or just reverse it. Dinner, you want to eat real good before you go to bed. Lunch, breakfast. Then on the third, this would be the, your three days worth of food. And then use these for snacks or follow-ups. So if you wanted to eat real sparsely, I would probably add a couple of Pop-Tarts in here. Or like another thing of tuna fish, a couple of things of Spam. Something with protein and keep you up and going with something with some carbs, like uh, maybe a pack of M&Ms or a Pop-Tart with a single serving of Spam. Just something like that to give you a mix of proteins and carbs. Over here on this far side is a my accessory kit. This is a, from a makeup bag that my wife gave me years ago. It's just a hot pink makeup bag. And inside of here, I keep an old, I'm talking old, can opener. That's more for memory's sake. That I've had that since I was in high school in the mid-1980s. So I just kind of keep it around, keep it on a leather boot lace. I could probably trade that out for some 550 cord, but it's been on there so long, I was like, wow. What we have here is these are kind of hard to find. These are a little plastic case that sometimes you can catch at the local China Mart. You open it up, then you replace these, sing you can buy the single serving singles and put all kind of stuff like green tea, uh, wine punch, just all kind of lemonade. I mean, you can use all kind of stuff in here for your canteen, water bottle, whatever. And you just replace these for what you want to drink. It's finding this original case that's a little difficult. And we have some tissue here out of a MRE. Oh, that's from one I opened a while back. Some matches out of an MRE, some hand sanitizer paper towels, a couple of good spoons, good heavy spoon, metal spoon, and then a MRE spoon. I would like to get a spork, some type of titanium spork, but I just haven't got around to doing it yet. Oh well. But anyway, there's my example of what I would consider at least a three-day food supply if you wanted to sparse it out. And you could probably squeeze, say, three and a half, maybe four. My goal is to have five days of eating sparsely 
three days of eating well, at least, at the very least. Yeah, that goes down inside there like that. It's got a snap-on lid. So there, we also have a, this helps protect the bottle. Got a little threaded top from damage. And acts as another serving bowl for heating up two things at once. Or, like let's say I cook two packs of these noodles. I've got a buddy, and we throw in, instead of using two stoves, we use one stove, heat up two packs of the noodles at one time. Then I pour some into the bowl for him, and he can eat, or she can eat. And then I can eat in my bowl here. So it's just like having an extra serving bowl and have something to keep your little propane bottle in it so it doesn't get damaged, especially that top with them threads. For a long time, I'd carried one of these single burner propane stoves, but I just got tired of lugging around this big propane bottle. I mean, look at that. There's a major size and weight difference between those two. This one here takes up an entire pouch of a medium and large Alice pack. This one here takes up almost no room. You just put it into this little pouch. You're ready to go.